Today, we are doing something for you, the viewers out there. We have gathered dozens of Halloween sweet treats, and we're gonna get to the bottom of which one is the Halloweeniest and the bestest here on Good Mythical Megan. Zagan. Good Mythical Zagan. Zagan. Good Mythical Zagan. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, Megan, is for the people out there, okay. I've gathered us dozens of sweet Halloween treats, uh -huh. and we're gonna determine which one's the best with a ranking system. You guys might remember a couple of videos ago that we actually mentioned this idea, well, Zach actually did, and you could tell that he was chunky boy excited. Scrap this video, let's turn it into tasting fall flavored treats. Who wants to watch me eat a whole bunch of brownie pumpkins? So this video's your fault, guys. It's your fault. On this side is the best, that side the worst is gonna go. Okay. For you viewers at home. Well, I'm already gonna put all the Peeps and Marshmallow products over here. No! Because I is, don't! It's a, we're, it's a jury. This is a judging system. It's a vote based on votes of us. Okay, well, it's 50 50, then my Those vote. Those on top. Yours is on top. Uh, my vote is counts for two. I don't think that's Because I have the better palate, it's more educated. And Tyson could agree. Look at how heavy he is. Oh, what are we gonna eat first? Well, hold on. Before we get to eating, what of these do you think is going to be the best and what's the worst? Oh, okay. We need the predictions. There's a lot of options here, honestly. Gosh, yeah. So what what flavor is these? Maple, maple cream, ugh. ugh. Oh, these are gonna be the best. I love A fruit, fruit roll-up? Roll I love fruit roll-ups. And I think what's going to be the worst is the Peeps, because I really don't like Peeps. The white Reese's peanut butter cup uh, pumpkins. I bet those are gonna be the best. I heard they're the best. And then the worst is probably going to be one of these M&M's. Like the candy corn M&M. The first thing on the docket is pumpkin spice marshmallows. Jet Puffs brand. Oh yeah, only the best, obviously. Oh. So do these go like in your hot chocolate, and your pumpkin spice lattes? Or Megan, they can go wherever your little heart desires. They just go in more? your mouth. Oh, it sounds like pumpkin spice. Oh. Gross. Stop. Oh yeah, that's pumpkin spice marshmallow. Here. Thanks. Hope your mother would get it in there. Get it in there. Shot. Ah. This is going to be tough. I used to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get it in. <laughs> that, was like, that was like a quarter inch. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. You ready? Megan. I see you can't catch. <laughs> Wait a moment. No, that's enough. No, I'm having fun now. Ready? Okay. You know you want to catch it. Oh, uh, uh, almost. It bounced. We could just act like it. They can't see. <laughs> Don't hit me. I'm going to lob it. Okay, lob it. <laughs> Got yeah, it. we made it! Yeah! Yeah. Uh, yeah. I need a palate cleanser. I need water. Go get me a sun drop. <laughs> that was very rude. Please. <laughs> no! I'm kidding. Oh, right there. I want to try the nerds rope next. Sorry, Megan. No, we took the B-roll of this already. This is what we're eating. Okay? You know what nerds rope tastes like. I just got it because I love nerds rope. Now, I heard that this is like the cereal Cocoa Krispies, but as an M. Who'd you hear that from? TV. <laughs> Stop. Oh. He's oh, forcing yeah. me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually real good. Can't even talk since now. It's very dark. It's very, mm, like, okay. deep. <laughs> Number one. Next, we're opening up this spooky nerd's rope. Zach really likes nerd rope. I like nerd's rope. So we're going to see how the spooky one tastes, which I'm going to assume it tastes like all the other ones. Now, do you want to eat it like Lady and the Tramp? Uh, I mean, yes. I'm kidding. I was no. thinking about who wants to see that. No, you don't get any of I it. want some. Oh, you don't think people want to watch us eat it Lady and the Tramp, but they want to eat it. Well, that's how I analyze. He's got to get air into the flavors. Hey, no! Ah! Don't lick the whole thing! <laughs> oh, I don't- no one wants to see this, Megan. He's right. Whoever's going to the store, stop what you're doing. Get on your pedal bike right now. Go to the store! It's a regular nerd's rope. 10 out of 10. Go on and buy it now, baby. Next up, we have these Branches Autumn Mix Mellow Cream, which some of these are good and some of them are good. Read the brand! Now you owe us money. Well... Sponsor. That speaking of sponsor, we have a sponsor for this video. So before we get into the juice and goodness of the rest of these treats, enjoy me talking about an ad. Actually, it's Megan talking about an ad. 
Hey Peachy Squad, I interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our sponsors. Today's sponsor is Unhide. Unhide is a blanket company that prides themselves on their amazing, super fluffy, cozy, cuddly blankets. What's really cool about Unhide blankets is that they are actually faux fur, which means no animals were harmed in the making of this super amazing plush blankie. This is actually one of the most cuddly, softest blankets I've ever laid my hands on, and you can see how dense the fur is on this bad boy. This blanket is perfect for cuddling up, especially with the winter seasons coming up. Like, imagine you're drinking hot chocolate, watching your favorite scary movie or Christmas movie, all cuddled up in this faux fur blanket. So what I actually love about Unhide, besides the fact that they have provided the most amazing faux fur blanket ever, is that actually a portion of the proceeds go to the Humane Society of the USA, which I think is amazing. You're doing good, you feel good, where can you go wrong? So if you guys want to get your very own Unhide furry blankie, and we can be twins, I got mine in navy, you can click the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment to get your very own today, and then we can all be cuddle buddies. Plus, you get 10% off if you order with the link down below, so you definitely want to do that. So thank you again to Unhide for providing us with this amazing blanket that is going to get well worth its use, and I really hope you guys get yours down below because I now can't picture my life without this thing. Uh, oh, that's a man. <laughs> I used to do these a lot in my childhood, didn't you? When I, yeah, not the pumpkins though, because for some reason I thought those tasted bad. What? The pumpkins were my favorite? They taste the exact same. They're all the same thing. Oh. They're just different shapes. <laughs> I mean, something I thought, got chocolate. I thought they all tasted bad, but the pumpkins. They're all the same thing. <laughs> eh, 2.5. If you get them for trick or treating, egg the person's house. Don't go out and get those. I don't, rem I don't Tell remember your parents them being that bad. I don't remember them being that bad. Your dad grabs them, puts them in the car at Target? No. You slap them across the face, you grab that bag, and you spike it in the ground, watch it explode everywhere. My nerds are up instead. Yeah. I don't like these already, so I'm telling you, 1.5. I love these. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh, they're disgusting! They're the worst! I like them. Oh, no. I have one. Let's go to a real candy, like peeps! <laughs> These are for real people. Here, open up. Uh, Here he comes. Uh, the whole thing's coming. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> That's how you have to eat a peep. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're good. just marshmallow, dude. Yeah. yeah, but they put a pound of sugar on the outside, which makes it better. Adults, we're not built for this much sugar. Oh, Look man. Look at winded. Pumpkin spice Cheerios. Babies eat them. They gotta be good. Oh. I can't taste it. It's very pumpkin-y. Let me see. It's kind of nice. It's really, really subtle. There's really subtle hints of pumpkin. Mm. It's nice. Huh. Huh. Yes. It's a very nice, subtle hints pumpkin. It really very gets nice. you in the fall spirit. That's oh. a nine. That might be a oh. ten. I don't know where the scale oh, is. Now. Is this a scale about the best Swedish chef, or is this a scale about how pumpkin-y it tastes? This wasn't even made in Sweden. This was made by General Motors. It's a car company. What are you talking about? It says GM on it. General Mills. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Let's open one and we'll share it, you know? I don't at this want point. to share. Well, okay. Oh my gosh. They're the ones with the with the tattoos on them. Gross. You're looking at it. <laughs> You're breathing all over your hot air. Gross, what is that? What are you doing? It's got tattoos on it? It's got nothing. <laughs> tastes real good though. That's for sure. Out of ten. What is oh, it? Oh maybe the tattoos are on this side. You already put Cheerios is the highest thing on your scale. The highest. Nothing can beat it, you said. This is nice because a lot of people I think like just the blue, like gushers, just the blue for roll up pieces, just the blue. Full blue. So good. God, we have so much left. Oh, palate cleanse time. Palate cleanse time, here. Oh. <laughs> You're so brave. <laughs> Y'all are brave. I can film. Guys, there's too much Halloween candy to try, so we spent our $88 oh, no. for you. $88? So that way you only spent three or $4 to get the one that we like the best, which Tyson, so far is the film. Cheerios. Let me film and you come eat. Nah, you guys got it. Who's ringing my doorbell? I'm probably scared somebody. So, our doorbell just rang and we went to go see what it was like while we're filming and it's actually a silver play button! It's the Zagan silver play button to be precise, I think. Yay! Uh, uh, uh. There it is! Are you one of these people? I'm sure you are. That's so exciting! 
I would like to accept this award on behalf of me and me only. I great star. You ate too much candy, dude. You don't even know what you're she's saying. She's ordering actress star. All right, so I had to tap in. Megan, she's shaking over there because she had so much sugar. So we're gonna power through some of these, Zach. We're gonna open up some of these M and M's. You open up another uh, bag. Uh, we got white candy corn and pumpkin pie. This is pumpkin pie. How'd you open this so easily? You tear it open. Why are you opening it like that? It's like a chip bag. All right, so these are white candy corn M&Ms. Candy corn. Oh, that's kind of wet. <laughs> these are too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Mine tastes like pumpkin pie, kind of. Mine just tastes like white chocolate. Why are these so wet? These are better. Oh! oh. <laughs> it does taste like pumpkin a lot. <laughs> it gets a rancid sour flavor at the end. Zach, like the real reason why I wanted to be at this table was for the Cadbury. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to know. Tyson was talking about this. The whole way back from Target. <laughs> You're good. Now, Zach, like, these are filled, I think, with white and green. <laughs> want a bite? No, I'm okay. Want it? No, it looks like snot. I'll tell you. Do you, you not want it ever? No, I don't want it ever. Okay, because it's bad. Yeah, throw it away. Wow, that was short-lived. You know, oh, you. Yeah. Uh, when I had them last time, they were more creamy, and I like the cream. super sweet. The it's peanut butter. Peanut butter ghouls mix. But there's okay. also peanuts. No, there's not. No, we didn't get the right one. So pretty much. Oh, I hate the peanut butter ones. <laughs> they're peanut butter memes. <laughs> these are not as wet as the other ones, so I do feel like there's something wrong with the other ones. These are pretty wet. I think our fingers are just soaked. You have sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of work to do today. These are better. These are definitely better than the other ones. Have you ever had these before? I'm actually pretty excited about these. These are the Hershey's Caramel Apple. This is shaped like an apple sack, but has no apple flavor. It just has caramel inside. Really? Yeah. Then why do they call it apple? It's shaped like an apple. Stupid. Oh. That's got apple flavor. Dude, that's really good. How do they do that? They got an apple inside that chocolate. The rapper says, fun apple shapes. Fuck, <laughs> these are fun. It was really fun. <laughs> uh, just because of the, how fun it was. Ten, dude. 3.4. <laughs> <laughs> You're back just in time for the tackies, Takis. Takis. I've, I've never had these ever. Taki, any, taki. any version taki, taki. of them. Habanero and cucumber? Oh, yeah, gross. they're spicy. Why are they cucumber? It immediately tastes like cucumber, and then it's like pretty good, and Maybe. then it's a burn. Right when you put it in your mouth, you get cucumber for like a split second. Like, oh. And then it's sour and hot. And then the wait for the spice to kick in. I love when my chips are sour and hot. So what is this exactly? It's pumpkin spice latte from It's Starbucks. not just like a creamer, pumpkin mm -hmm. spice latte flavored with other natural flavors, chilled espresso beverage, spicy sweet. Tastes like a campfire. It's pretty good. I'm not complaining. It's I okay. would definitely chill this and drink it all. And I will. I mean, yeah. It's very, it's very like hot chocolatey, campfirey, like roasted marshmallowy. So if you're old enough to drink coffee, mm-hmm. Pumpkin pie Kit Kats. <laughs> more violent! Give me the rest. It's like pumpkin pie and a Kit Kat. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm having a sugar crash. Breathing's heavier. Everything's harder. I need 5,000 likes to keep going. You can do oh, it. Are we there yet? Guys, please. Keep going. For my husband. Help. He's, uh, he's oh my gosh, he's uh, warm. He's warm. All right, guys, at this point, Zach and Megan have officially sugar crashed. They probably had about 20 million thousand calories so far and 5 billion grams of sugar. So I'm going to skip past some of these and just cut to the end of each one because they honestly look like zombies and they're completely crashed. This is what happens when you eat too much sugar. Be careful during Halloween, guys. Halloween edition Pop-Tart chocolate fudge. This just tastes like the chocolate Pop-Tarts. It doesn't taste like Halloween. It is just a chocolate Pop-Tart. <laughs> Brownie pumpkins, and then we have caramel apple oatmeal pies. I love oatmeal pies. I think they're really good. Now let me do a pre-rank before we even taste them, just to start. Crap, crap, pretty good, pretty good. These are all the same and then it's crap too. Try that, that's good. Ew. Look at this, that was in that cinnamon cookie. It's like a big chunk of cinnamon. I can't even chew it. These are gonna taste like cosmic brownies. There we go. Tastes like a cosmic brownie. Not as good, because it doesn't have the chewy pieces or the crunchy pieces. And I think that you need that in food to help break it up and make it more fun. Pumpkin delight cookies? Doesn't even say what the flavor's gonna be. <laughs> I think it's The name be. pumpkin comes from the Greek word pepo. Cool, thanks little Debbie. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't want oh, this. Oh, that looks gross. Okay, so there it is. Oh. It's, it's a... God, and that's caramel or apple or something on the eyes. Oh, disgusting. Probably got little pieces of stuff you can't chew in it. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, that's it. Like, oh, we put a whole cinnamon clove in Oh, I think we broke Zach. Oh. You don't even know what a clove is. I don't know. Whatever it is. I don't it's like it. like a clove of garlic? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> this is a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe they stuffed it with pumpkin. We'll see. Pretty good. I don't like Snickers bars, so. 10.5. Now, these I heard are good, but I heard they're sweeter. And right now, that's not good. Meh. I mean, just... Oh, okay. Well, all that's left is the New York City original style pumpkin spice six mini stuffed bagels. As seen on Shark Tank. Let's go! Let's go, guys! Come on! There they are. Three of them, so Tyson can eat one too. <laughs> that, don't, that's not up for me. I'm on a diet, dude. You like it? Tastes like a Texas Roadhouse bun. Oh! With like the butter, but more pumpkin y. That's pretty good. What? That's oh. eight. No. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. Most kind of both are good. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys loved it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And what else? If you want to see Megan do this again during Christmas oh. by herself, <laughs> by herself, yeah. No. Hit the like button I mean, again. You should still hit the like button, but you know. And then let us know what other things we should try to eat down below in the comments. But other than that, we will talk to you guys next time. Bye.